Hi, in this video I will mention uh, cousin marriage and this article about, about it and the title is Potential Social, Economic and General Health Benefits of Consanguinous Marriage Results from the Born in Bradford Cohort Study. So, so Quran and in the Quran we know that uh, cousin marriages were allowed and people uh, discuss it and they say like why it is allowed and don't don't you think it should be uh, forbidden so we we can see in some of the studies they find some benefits and in some studies they find some uh, detrimental effects in my opinion in nowadays I think there there are some factors environmental factors that increase the likelihood of having like disability maybe like because of stress or or other factors or maybe like they're pregnant at very old age not like uh, not like before uh, so I don't know about it by the way and so that's why the, the cousin marriage is not uh, advisable for me but however uh, once saying that but we should forbid people then it is uh, maybe not good for humanity and um, and God created law and interest as an irrational sort of irrational concept so that and God uh, may say that uh, I uh, I don't uh, mind it, and it is not uh, it is allowed. However, it also it's also important that in Quran it doesn't it is not encouraged. So let's read it. And in previous videos you can check, and I mentioned um, those marriages and uh, some of the positive uh, results and also negative factors when children are born to those unions, there's an increased probability of the expression of single gene disorders with a recessive mode of inheritance. There are presumptive social benefits of those marriages reported in the literature. So, you know the <coughs> side effects anyway. So, the positive, let's, you can read the abstract. I want to just shortly briefly mention. Uh, the Pakistani, those mar groups, social economic and health lifestyle circumstances were equivalent to in some cases better than interestingly women in non consanguineous relationship up to date in paying bills or disagreeing that they wished for more warmth in their marital relationship the consanguineous relationship group had less separation divorce rates of cigarette smoking during pregnancy were lower in mothers in those relationships so so these are the potential social benefits so this benefit may be related to the uh, per, you know relative support because they so they, they somehow support each other so and then so the, and I'm not uh, reading this article to promote it so this is also important to know it I don't promote it but uh, I'm trying to explain why it is not forbidden in the Quran more than 1 billion people live in societies where those marriages are common and they are normal variant across much of the globe and uh, when children are born to those unions there is an increased probability of the expression of single gene disorders with recessive mode of inheritance so and there are studies including studies in isolated and endogamous Iceland populations indicate that adverse effects also may be observed on a number of health measures like blood pressure as people in those marriages have shown to be generally less educated and less uh, well off than their counterparts in non consanguineous marriages putative adverse effects need to be conser considered in the light of potential confounding factors so, and in those uh, islands of small populations there is a chance that and there are no many people so it is inevitable uh, so Let's read it further. Genetic ris risks have fueled sens sensationalist and stigmatizing reporting of those merits. The resultant dangers were highlighted in a report, but remained unheeded. Similar guidance was published 20 years later. So it's important to know also the time and the, the and the factors. So there's a chance that we, uh, so humans did bad thing, bad things, and it caused actually like. Um, those genetic problems like uh, the way that we we live has changed and the food we eat 
is not like before or the water or pollution there are many factors <clears throat> so they mentioned the potential consequences of it such as the stability of the family maintenance of income and wealth are relevant for assessing health benefits but there has been a relative absence of examination of such concerts in public health research uh, the rare quantitative research relating to the marriage itself is conflicting. Potential economic benefits of the bride's family are documented, so it is the economic benefit. In May 2010, the Genoa International Consanguinity Workshop recommended that the presumptive social benefits of consanguineous marriage need to be confirmed by evidence-based research. So, a further study has reported risk factors for congenital anomaly so then it mentions uh, the methods so anyway so we we can see the results here so mainly what i try to mention is uh, that there's a possibility that uh, if it is it's for it is good for so completely forbidden in the quran means and that we assume that you know if god completely stopped the cousin marries and then um, then maybe it can cause like genetic problems as well so we don't know about the results so we have to think about like uh, future and uh, and Quran also in fact forbids many uh, um, like marriages of uh, people actually there's limitation but not including cousins so uh, that and in the previous studies some of them may be about it maybe in some cases it can it can be okay and it, it serves like evolutionary but it has maybe evolutionary benefit because people choose it and um, yeah and i personally don't recommend it right now because and then they can uh, uh, go to like genetic consultation and even like uh, if they are not uh, uh, like cousin or um, so that they can do that too and they should be sure that they, they're healthy and their children will be healthy too so and then it is better for society that's my uh, opinion and thanks for watching this video god knows better and so and thanks to listening this video and hope to see you in the next next video and my words may not be true and then please correct me and hope to see you in the next video again